What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Figure It Out, Out of the Basement's Black Series talk show. I'm Nate, joined with Justin. What's up, guys? And today, we're going to be counting down the top 10 cheapest Black Series figures of all time. Last week, we did the top 10 most expensive Black Series figures of mm -hmm. all time, and you guys seem to really enjoy that one. So, of course, we got to go back to the old cow invert it and do the inversion yeah. here and uh you know do the opposite so here we are today the top 10 cheapest black series figures of all time justin you compiled this list and honestly a little surprising yep all of this information again is coming from actionfigure401.com and they are essentially taking an average of ebay sold listings sold listings so this is a true, genuine value, very useful tool. And this is also from a US perspective, US currency, USD. So if you're in a different country than us, do the conversion and then comment. No, don't do that. <laughs> With that out of the way, hit like, subscribe if you are new. We are always talking about Star Wars, the Black Series here on the channel, Nate. Let's jump right into it with number 10. It is your boy. Yes. Constable Zuvio, who sells for an average of $8.92. Every single figure on this list is under $9. Yeah, what a great figure. Unironically, I really like Constable <laughs> Zuvio. Of course, famously, a cut character from Force Awakens. Mm. Gave him his own figure, and then we never saw him in the movie, but has a lot of paint app details. You know, you get at least one accessory. And I think he looks cool hanging out as just a random Jabba's Palace character. Yeah, we recently covered this figure on one of our retrospectives that we do for Figure It Out sometimes. And yeah, the figure has paint, like yeah. dry brushing, and mm -hmm. it's an alien backpack, his staff thing. Mm -hmm. It's actually a nice figure. Yeah, but it makes sense why this would be so cheap because it's essentially a non-existent character mm -hmm. even in the promised deleted scenes nate right there was no constable zuvio to be found number nine actually surprised me a little bit and this is the archive release of the tuscan raider which currently sells on average for eight dollars and 91 cents yeah this is an ollie's special yep not the best army builder. It's right. one of those figures where it kind of falls into the category of it looks good, but that's it. Mm -hmm. Articulation's pretty bad. Yes. The hard plastic skirt really inhibits a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Even the soft goods, you know, they could be better. They're not, they're not horrible, but I think they could be better. Yeah, and it's really not in the same vein as like a stormtrooper or a clone trooper where it's like you could get like multiples i feel like you can do the same thing with tuscans but for me it was just a twofer it, yeah. was, a, it was a two and done for me so i did get one at ollie's nice when there was that like kind of trooper army builder archive wave and a lot of them are on this list that is true so yeah number nine was the tuscan raider number eight we're gonna be jumping back to the ones that would come to mind when we think about cheap figs. Classic Definitely. sequel trilogy, red and black box. Number one, actually, Finn, who averages for $8.80. This is another one we recently covered on the show. Just bad figure, overproduced, peg warmer, mm -hmm. shelf rotter. Nothing else to say, really. Yeah, it's a painful figure. Now let's jump back to that archive wave, the Army Builder archive wave, with number seven, which is the Imperial Hover Tank Driver. Hmm. Currently sells on average for $8.30. I actually really love this figure. Yeah, this is a really great figure. It's got some nice weathering details on it. This was originally Toys R Us exclusive, right? Correct. So wow. even though the figure never had like a really high value on the secondary market, I feel like it's always nice when they take a figure that used to be exclusive and then archive it for everyone to get, um, just like they did with that uh, the Shore Trooper that was a yeah. Walmart exclusive. So I like when they do this. Right. I love the paint on this figure. If I'm recalling correctly, I'm pretty sure there was like decent weathering on this figure. Yeah. And it's on that um, 
short trooper body so the articulation for the time was actually pretty good remember we were so excited that we finally had troopers that could aim down the sights yeah we yep. were like wow i can't believe it we finally have troopers that can go like this yeah it took us a while <laughs> but i actually have a newfound appreciation for this figure because i have been hexagon standing my display mm -hmm. been endlessly printing hexagon stands designed by lance peter luke and the hover tank pilot is one that was always behind everything and with the hexagon sands i'm like oh i can properly see this oh look at the paint on that figure it's just like one of those older figures that you don't pick up and look at mm -hmm. but then every once in a while i'll pick it up and be like dang awesome figure number six continuing the archive trend is han solo old man han from the force awakens this one averages for eight dollars and ten cents this is another ollie's treatment figure true the ollie's special a mm -hmm. uh, little heartbreaking to see because I feel like it could absolutely send the wrong message to Hasbro because famously this was one of the first archive figures that actually had new tooling that on it. That is true. So Good point. this Han Solo had a brand new head sculpt, something we had never seen before in the archive and seeing it on the cheapest Black Series figures of all time list, <laughs> I'm a little disappointed i know it's because it's force awakens han it's not really a desirable han solo but mm. um beings that bush leia also ended up at ollie's while she's not on this list you know i'm kind of like oh no i yeah. hope i hope they don't think that we didn't like that right because it's just purely circumstantial like this just so happens to be the one that they're like hey let's try out some new tooling for archive oh maybe we won't like whatever budget difference there was like let's invest yeah. a little more in this archive because you know the old head is kind of bad let's get a new head sculpt but that probably didn't pay off for them probably hopefully they do continue new tooling in future archive waves if they're still going to be doing that a whole lot but yeah han solo the ollie's treatment ollie's exclusive <laughs> <laughs> right. Number five was another figure that I was a little surprised to see on this list, okay. and that is the single pack release version of Luke Skywalker in his Dagobah costume. This figure currently sells on average for $7.75. Yeah, this is the only 40th Kenner like carded figure out of the 40th celebrations that they've done. Obviously, this is more than likely because Dagobah Luke was in like a superior Jedi training two pack with right. Yoda. Right. And that also ended up getting pretty cheap too. This figure was kind of set up to fail though with that deluxe release because yeah. they stripped all of the accessories <laughs> yeah. away. The um, hand and yeah. Yeah. You didn't even get a hand. You only got the lightsaber. So I feel like this one was definitely kind of doomed to just be a shelf rod or cheap mm -hmm. figure. Yeah, usually there's a market for people who will actually buy the same figure over again because they want the Kenner, Kenner image, mm -hmm. you know, the card backs hung up on their wall. But I guess even that wasn't enough for this one. Coming in at number four is kind of another Ollie's classic, and that's Val. Yeah, true. A, an OG Ollie's classic. Right, that's where I got mine, even though I don't own this figure anymore. But she averages for $7.48. And she's kind of a great figure if you like Solo. Yeah, all of the Solo figures honestly probably went a lot harder than they should have or had any right to. Because it was like early photo reel where the faces had a matte finish, mm -hmm. where they clearly put it in the budget to apply the matte finish to the photo reel faces because the factory didn't miss the note. Yep. For the solo figures, they have pretty nice matte finishes. Mm -hmm. And Val in particular has like one of the best photo reel likenesses in the entire line. Absolutely. And I really actually do like all the different little costume details she has. There's too. like some translucent red right. tubing and stuff. Like yeah. I think you're right. They yeah. went they went hard for solo. They really did. They really did. Too bad it was such a mid film. Yeah. I and don't... exists for no reason. Yeah. It's probably why these all went to clearance. And literally, like, that whole solo wave, maybe, like, minus Tobias, 
showed up at Ollie's. Mm -hmm. Like Han, Lando, Kira, Val. They're all pretty cheap on the aftermarket. But Val is another example of being a sleeper hit, kind of an excellent figure. Right. But on the top 10 cheapest Black Series of all time. Number three is yet another Archive Army Builder. It is the Imperial Death Trooper. Mm -hmm. Currently sells on average for $7.28. This was a figure that you and I, even before the Archive release, we had plenty of. True. We had a local Midwestern grocery store called Meyer. They had an endless supply. Mm -hmm. of these death troopers back in the day and they were sometimes six dollars sometimes they were five dollars sometimes they went down all the way to like two dollars yeah there was like 75 percent off toy aisle but take an extra x amount off if you buy more than one or something like that they were like two to four dollars a piece and i was just like nate i'm buying all of them Yep, so. I remember <laughs> you and I literally ended up with like five or six a piece. Right, and looking back, this, you know, $7.28 is kind of well deserved because I think over time my appreciation for this figure has really depreciated mm. in the sense that I think this is a pretty bad figure for a trooper. For like what troopers should be in the Black Series. And especially compared to the Shore Trooper, mm -hmm. I think the Death Trooper has some gummy legs, like the gummy, flimsy legs that yeah. when you shake it, they wobble all over the place. You know, I, I think they're just skinny and a little small. You know, I don't know. No, I can definitely see where you're coming from. They can't really, you know, get up there like the Shore Trooper can. Yeah, I always have beef with the, uh, the Commander because of the rubber overlay makes the figure so heavy that it wants to tip forward yeah. constantly and because of those gummy legs it always tips forward on my shelf mm -hmm. and it never fails so yeah i would definitely agree with you i think this one at the time it was a fine figure but by today's standards i would actually love to see them give us a little bit of an updated treatment on this I'd be down on this figure because be the down. death trooper alone Great design. One of my favorites out of the Disney Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah, absolutely. One of the best like Disney-era trooper original designs, for sure. Number two, pour one out for the OTers. <laughs> Sound off in the comments. Where's my OT crowd at? It's Dr. Evazon, who averages for $7.25. Famously, Panda Baba and Dr. Evazon. Panda Baba's not on this list, but Dr. Avazon is. I don't know. Uh, both showed up at Ollie's quite a bit for mm -hmm. $5.99. And I'm pretty sure they're still at our local Ollie's. And Just Dr. Avazon now. Panda Baba's gone. I think for some reason maybe people alien. scooped him up more because he's an alien. And you could do some other like custom head swaps you okay. know, if you wanted to make a different okay. walrus man species. That's fair. But... Uh, yeah, it's still painful to see because obviously this is clearly sending a message to Hasbro that uh, we don't want OT background aliens, which couldn't be further from the truth for people mm -hmm. like us. Yeah. But at the same time, I am also wondering, I'm like, did they just like massively overestimate the demand for these two? Because right, this was part of Wave 31. And if I'm remembering correctly, that was one per case. Yeah. It so like, wow. It is odd to see. I, I, It almost feels like maybe for some reason they kind of misjudged the demand for the OT mm. aliens, which obviously you and I, we bought these at full price. No problem. Like I did not. Give me more. Did not even blink twice about buying that Cantina yeah. set. Well, they also, similar to the Luke on this list, there was that deluxe pack that came right, with. Right, right. See, we're saving it. You're we're right. saving it, guys. It's not that... The damn Gen Z and Gen Alpha or whoever, <laughs> Clone Wars kids, don't buy them. It's because they put Dr. Evazen and P Panda Baba in that three-pack with Obi-Wan. That is true. That is true. <laughs> and I, I did forget that while initially it wasn't that easy to get over time, they ended up like just literally putting it on Pulse and it just sat there. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I think, yeah, probably over time people just ended up grabbing the Cantina set rather than buying their individual releases. Half a bar. 
Number one, Justin, is a tie. Holy crap. This is <laughs> the other ultimate classic peg warmer supreme. Yes, sir. We've got Sergeant Jin Urso and Jin Urso, Kmart <laughs> exclusive with <laughs> pile of poop. Both of them selling on average for $6.66. I don't know if we have some superstitious people <laughs> in the audience watching today, but yes, the most infamous peg warmer of all time, at least at the time of recording this, averages for 666. And it's not just the one gin, it's both gins. It's also the Kmart one that comes with the pile of poop. Yeah. <laughs> uh, pretty impressive. Not surprising, but still pretty impressive. Yeah, like pretty crazy coincidence. And both are horrible. Jin is a horrible figure. It looks like a Barbie doll. Mm -hmm. She's got really gummy legs. Like oh, yes. super gummy legs, gummy arms too. Mm -hmm. Her hands are so small and made of such flimsy plastic. The blaster that you put in her hand, eventually it just kind of like pops out over time. Like she literally mm -hmm. cannot hold it because of the gummy plastic. And then there was the Kmart one that came with the base. And I do like the thought behind it, like coming with some environmental yeah. bases. It was in the same vein as like the Star Killer base yeah. sets. That... And it came with like the little nightstick thingy majig. We actually bought it at Kmart. Yep. Uh, this one was just one of those where you had it for a little while and then you just got rid of it. I don't, Pretty much. I don't think any of us kept the, this set for no. longer than a year at most because then you're just like what do i do with this right because you realize <laughs> once you saw rogue one you're like oh that was literally a five minute scene huh yeah this is infamously probably the number one all-time offender of peg warming in the black series general lando might give her a run for her money but I think just in my current state of mind, I still get that red and black box ick. Mm -hmm. And that is because of Jin, Cassian, Krennic, those Finn, Ray, etc., etc. So it's no surprise that Jin and Jin are tied Ooh. for the cheapest Black Series figures of all time. All right, a couple quick ones to rifle off for you here, Justin. No uh, Holdo. Nope. No Rose Tico. No. Nope. No rows. I was kind of expecting them, but yeah, every figure on this list is actually under $9. Yeah, that's crazy to me because <laughs> uh, that uh, obviously just thinking in my head includes General Lando. It includes Empire Strikes Back Lando. It includes Archive right. Skiff Guard Lando. Right. And... I'm like, wow, all of those sell for more than $9. That's kind of crazy to me. <laughs> just kidding. I paid over $9 for every single Lando. And uh, I'll, I'll still continue to buy Lando's at full price because I like Lando. True. I also bought General Lando for full price. He's a great character. Yeah. Great character. Great design. Great figure. Justice for Lando. Pick up a Lando if you don't have one. And that's all we have for you on this week's episode of Figure It Out. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you are new. We're always talking about Star Wars The Black Series here on the channel. If you are in a position to help support the channel, we do also offer a couple different channel membership tiers. Check those out in the description down below. And also while you're there, join that Discord. Gotta join that Discord. Great little community down there. We got like 1,050 people. All sorts of discussions going on there. Some rhetoric. Some friendly debate. Ooh. Some showing off of displays and figures. In stock alerts. Just hit join. That one's completely free. And thank you to everyone else out there for watching. I'm Nate. I've been joined with Justin. See you guys later. And we will see you all next time on Out of the Basement.